In some news that everyone in the NBA saw coming, the Los Angeles Lakers have fired head coach Frank Vogel today, choosing to part ways with their championship winning coach from just two years ago after a 33 and 49 record this season. The Lakers season, obviously, we don't even need to. We'll get into how bad it's been, honestly, and and we don't need to get into the nitty gritty about that specifically. I do want to focus on Frank Vogel, the head coach, why he's leaving, and what might be next for the Los Angeles Lakers. But you can't talk about Frank Vogel's firing. You can't talk about that without how bad the Lakers have been. Thirty three and forty nine. To say that this season has been a disappointment would be understating it. This is a team that was assembled with all of the key pieces put together to win a championship. This is a team with an, a, with former MVPs like Russell Westbrook, like LeBron James, with top all-time NBA players like a Carmelo Anthony, who even at this late stage in his career, it can give you a lot of points off the bench. This is a Lakers team that was fighting for, of all things, a spot in the play-in and didn't even make it towards that fight on the latter part of the season. Failure, disappointing, doesn't even begin to describe what this team is this year. We'll get into them, but Frank Vogel, three seasons as the Lakers head coach, he is out, and honestly, like... It's something we all saw coming. We all saw co- we all saw this coming. Lakers go 52 and 19 is first year win the title. Everyone's hailing Frank Vogel as this great all-time NBA coach or whatever. And th- I mean, look, no hate on Frank Vogel. He obviously has been in the situation. Uh, he's been in a situation where he's had to be a head coach before. He was a head coach in Orlando, Indiana before. He had some success, uh, especially in Indiana in those in those early 2010s era of Indiana uh, Pacers ba- basketball. But man, oh man, when people were saying that you know uh, Luke Walton was the problem for the Lakers and that Frank Vogel was going to fix all of that, man, oh man, are those people wrong? Again, no hate on Frank Vogel. He did his job, and but the thing is, his job was not necessarily to be a head, the head coach of that basketball team. His job was just to be there. That is the job, respectfully, LeBron James. I am a Cavs fan. I like LeBron. This is the part, though, of LeBron that I think all NBA fans at this point are kind of tired of, and that is that no matter who's the head coach, Almost every single time, Eric Spolstra might be the only exception, but even at that point in his career, Spolstra didn't have, I want to say, the the clout to kind of outmaneuver someone like LeBron James or, or outsay someone like LeBron James at that time. But outside of him, LeBron has basically just installed whatever whoever he wants as head coach, whether it works out or it doesn't, doesn't matter. The, none of the blame ever goes to LeBron. It goes to other people. It goes on to the head coach. It went on to Mike Brown. It went on to to uh, David Blatt. It went on to Luke Walton, and now it's going on to Frank Vogel. Frank Vogel is not the problem with this basketball team, folks. The problem with this basketball team is they couldn't play the game. Whether it was injury, whether it was the fact that their key players were underperforming in the case of Russell Westbrook, whether it was team chemistry was off, whether it was players just didn't want to play. Even when they had a chance to go into the play-in, players just did not want to play. LeBron was the key part in that, in one of the, being one of those players who did not want to play. And now Frank Vogel is out. Three seasons with the team. Did not last long. Last longer than Luke Walton, but did not last long. And now the Lakers are going to move on to a head coaching search. There's rumors out there, and we'll talk about this, I'm sure, in a later video or a later segment on Real Take Sports Talk, about... Potentially the Lakers getting Nick Nurse from the Raptors, which to me is probably the, I don't even know how to begin to describe that. That that just does not sound like something that's going to happen. Does not sound like something that's going to happen. And if it does, if the Lakers wind up pulling that off, I feel bad for Nick Nurse. Truly I do, because I don't feel like he's going to get the respect in LA that he's due. 
as a championship winning coach, as a really good coach for the Raptors. I believe Raptors are like the fourth or fifth seed right now. Just a year out from being a top three in the draft. So that tells you how far that franchise is coming. God, I mean, look, what can help the Lakers? I don't know. I honestly don't know. They're they're gonna put someone in there. They're hopeful. I don't think they're gonna be able to get anyone who who's going to command respect more so than LeBron in that organization, or command or wield power more so than LeBron, or even at, at, at anywhere close to an equal level. But bottom line for the Lakers, you have two years left to win a championship. Because after that, LeBron's just going to whatever team drafts Bronny. That's the that's the cold hard fact. You have two you have a two year window to compete for a title. What's going to help this team win? It's not necessarily going to be the head coach. It's going to be getting the right pieces around LeBron. That's what it is. You you took the king shilling, and this is what you get. We'll see how it plays out. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released.